Okay, uh, we are now going to start on a project here in Revit. And what we're going to work on right now is what we would call the custom garage project. So let me go ahead and pull that up real quickly here. Uh, it looks like, let's see here, let me go ahead and grab it. I uh, should have it right here. And it's right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this. It uh, looks like this. This is a custom garage. This is what the construction documents look like, and this is the object we're going to make. So um, we need to just kind of like do a couple things here. First of all, what we're going to do is in um, Blackboard, we're going to download the template. Now the template, I already downloaded this a few times, but you go to Revit Floor Plan, and you'll notice, uh, I'm sorry, Revit Floor Plan, uh, Custom Garage Plans right here. And the Custom Garage Plans, you want to go ahead and you want to download this template. When you download this template, it's got the walls, it's got the windows, it's got the doors, it's got a pull down stair. So that's all good to go. Now, you don't typically want to go ahead and um, just double click on it because that, uh, that just presents some problems later. So the better way to do it is save it and then you're going to go to new. And when you go to new, it asks you what template you want to use in Revit. And we want to go ahead and browse out to the template that we just downloaded. Okay, it's the download that I have here. And I've got mine actually out here in my... Um, Oh, where do I have it? I have it out here in my downloads. Okay, so I'm going to go to downloads and I'm going to go ahead and open up custom garage plan Revit template uh, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, open it up, and when I do, uh, there will be nothing in it. It will be blank and I will then be able to start to work with it. So this is the basics right now. So let's see how we go about doing this. So let's start. And uh, so starting into this right now, what we're going to do is we are first of all going to redo what this looks like. And it's this custom garage plan. If I go down to here to the first floor, we're going to see there's some dimensions right here. And uh, the overall dimensions right here, are actually, it's 24 feet on this side. And then on this side, it's actually uh, 30. So it's 24 by 30 feet to the outside. Okay, 24 by 30 feet to the outside. And you'll notice that the, uh, the extension lines actually go to the outside, not the center line. So it's 24 up, 30 across. So I'm going to draw that first of all. So going here into Revit, I'm going to go to my level one and I'm going to go to my wall command. When I go to my wall command here, I'm going to go here and take, I'm going to go here and take a look at what I have here. And what I want here is, um, oh, I think it's, yeah, I think it's the basic garage wall right there, isn't it? I think it's just the, this one right here. So I'll go to garage wall and I'm just going to go ahead and draw this. So I'm going to click here and go up and the distance here is 24. So type that in. And then I'm going to go over 30. And then I'm going to go down 24. And then back over here, over here to close it. Okay, now when I have that done, it should look pretty good. So let's find out what we have here. Did I, first of all, did I draw that properly? Let me take a look here. It looks like I may not have done that properly. No, I think I did. I think I did. So we're going to go there. So let's take a look at it. So when I take a look at this, and if I go to take a look at it in 3D, it shows me this, and that's what it should look like, where you actually have wood on the inside and cedar shake siding on the outside. Okay, so that's good. We're, we're off to a good start. So back to level one now. As you get into this, one thing that I always like to do is to put in my dimensions. So I'll click here, and uh, over here, these witness lines right now, they're actually going to the inside. Now I can move these. This is actually, you'll notice it's measuring to the inside. If I click on this, it toggles to the outside, and if I click on this one, it toggles that to the outside, which is 30 feet. And that's what I want. Okay, you can also just tra take these and drag them, but you know, right now, you know, we're just gonna go ahead and leave it at, at uh, there. Um, and so now I'm gonna click on this right here, and when I do that, it makes that permanent. And now I'm gonna click on this wall right here, and I'm going to go ahead and go over to here, and over to here, same thing, and I'm gonna make that permanent. So I've got my 24 foot, my 30 foot dimension. So we're good to go, we're off to a a rollicking start. And then back over to here, let's take a look at what we got for this. First of all, I've got drawing, I've got uh, uh, door number one right up at the top. So when I look back at my schedule, I see that that door is actually, door number one is door double glass 68 by 80 inches. Door double glass 68 by 80. So let me go grab that. And uh, let's see here. Should be right, 60, 6 foot 8, 5 foot, yeah, that's actually misnamed. That's something that I don't know if I fixed it or not yet, but back over to here. And what we'll do is we'll put in the door, 
and it's actually it's this one door double f 60 by 80 that's actually a typo uh, on those on those documents there so I'm going to 60 by 80 inch and pull it into here and that is go ahead and grab this and pull it in here and when I do this I can go ahead and place it along here and when I place it it needs to swing inside so I can pull my cursor inside and I'll just go ahead and drop it now when I drop it there it needs to be from the outside four feet from the outside so I'm just going to leave that there for right now and uh, the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to number this the number needs to be actually what it needs to be one go ahead and change that to one and uh, boom like that and I've got that and then let's go ahead and put a measurement on there so to do that it says two foot six click there two foot eleven let's go ahead and just type in four feet here when I type in four feet there it goes ahead and orients that properly so if I go ahead and do this I can make that permanent because that dimension needs to be there four feet now the next dimension needs to be five feet for this one right here so I can do that using my align dimension here at the top clicking here and then I'm going to go ahead and click it here and over to here and pull that up now it's five feet so again we're off to a good start and that's looking good and then I'd repeat that for the door at the top and the door is actually number two and door number two is half glass door 36 by 80 80 so I'll put in a door uh, door half glass and it should be here 36 by 80 I'm going to drop this here and this needs to be actually uh, four feet from the side as well so I'm just going to drop it there and I'm going to click on here and it uh, it doesn't give me the uh, it doesn't give me the witness lines where I want them to be so I'll click on the witness line, it goes to the outside, which is what I want. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this to four feet. Make it four feet, and at that point I can make it permanent, like that. And then I take it and drag it on up because uh, it, it, it actually, you don't do it that way. So I go ahead and take it and drag it like this, and when I do this, it allows me to go ahead and make it uh, like that. So it's even with those right there. So that's four feet, we're good to go. And then after that, I need to measure the door and uh, which is going to be here uh, over here to here and I'm gonna go ahead and just link that there let's go ahead and drop it and there we go doesn't let me doesn't want to do that so I will have to pull these up so that is what I'll do pull this up and these others I'm just align them as we go along here let's just grab these and they're now lined up and put a dimension on here and so as I go through here uh, just getting your dimensions placed properly is half the battle and then it's gonna do the last dimension here to here and that is going to be 14 feet so when I do that I now have a complete string of dimensions they're looking good alright so now we're off to a great start so moving down to here the next thing what I want to do is I want to put in my garage doors now the garage doors are actually number three okay they're nine feet and number three and four, their door, their door garage embossed panel, 108 by 84. So let me put those in. I'll show you what the trick is with these right here, because these are, you know, you just got to be aware there's more than one way to do any of these. And it's 108 by 84, uh, door garage door embossed. I think that's exactly the one. And, uh, yep, and I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to pull it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it. And you'll notice that it's got these blue dashed lines that show up over here. Now those represent the tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that. Now once I've dropped that, here's the thing. They're double tracks right here. So I'm going to do a couple things here. First of all, I want it to be two feet from the inside track to the outside of the wall. So let's find out what that is right now. So it's the inside track. So I'll click here and I'm going to put this to the outside. And that tells me that's one foot one. And that is actually going to the, uh, it looks like that's going to the inside. Looks like we are yeah, I think we're good to go there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make that two. Make it two, boom, and that should be perfect. And we'll make it permanent like that. And I'll just go ahead and pull it out here. So I've got that. So the placement right there, it is two feet. I think we're correct there. Oh, actually, no, I think it's got to go on the other side. So it's actually got to go right over to here. It's got to actually touch it over here. I've got to actually touch this inside is what it's got to be. That is what it's got to be. So therefore, once I've got that, I make it two feet again. And uh, I'm just going to get rid of this because that's wrong now. And I want to go ahead and put in, in the dimension and go from here over now to here. Yes, and you see I got to do that and I make it. And now that that's two feet, what I want to do there is, let me go ahead and do this differently. Uh, let's see here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this and let's see here 
Alright, so we got this, and we're gonna go ahead and make that too. And, uh, 